there. Oh, praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh God, Bashem, Bukhakwadash. Oh, so this is another Friday night live. You know, we try to do this every Friday, Lord willing to the Spirit, you know, um, to edify the elect. And um, we're going to start, start it off with Judges. So yeah, Judges, right? Then we're going to build off that. This is Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Let me turn the live huh? Let me turn the stream. Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Why the noise of the archer is talking about the nuclear destruction. So um, that's what we're looking to be delivered from, the nuclear destruction. <clears throat> Go ahead. In the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts. Of now, the um the place of drawing waters is like drawing waters is re represent towards um servitude to, to slavery slavery because the way the uh, America was built up was through the um uh, slavery of the Israelites. In fact, so you know it um. America was built up through the enslavement of the Israelites. So, in the lands of drawing waters, because all 12 tribes suffer oppression from the so called white man. It's not an echo on it, right? No. Okay. No. So, yeah, um, all 12 tribes was um, oppressed on the Esau. So, it says, in the land of drawing waters, there shall we rehearse the righteous acts. Cause now we in the feast of unloving bread, and we're rehearsing the righteous act, you know. Cause we can't keep the Lord hundred percent, you know. But when we attempt to keep the laws, you know, the Lord see our effort that we put in. Cause technically, when we go to the Lord, the Passover or the feast of unloving bread, it speaks about you know taking a flock that's a male on the tenth day, and on the fourteenth day you're supposed to you know, um, kill the Passover or slaughter the lamb or goat if you don't have a lamb. But we not, do we have land right now? No, we don't, we don't, we don't own no land. You know, we live, we live in, we live in um, tenant apartments, projects, you know, we don't have no land. We don't have no cattle. So that's why it's, it said that in Judges, you know, 5 and 11. And in the land of George, um, read that again. Right. It says, They that are read it from the top. Judges chapter 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of arches in the places of drawing waters, drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts. Right. So the drawing, drawings of waters is, is referencing towards America. And in, 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 is in this land is where we're going to rehearse the righteous acts because we don't have it 100% yet. But the Most High, he put his head to rehearse the righteous acts because we have to we have to see both sides. We have, we have to see what happens or what, what becomes when a nation doesn't, you know, exercise the laws of the Most High. And we see it's nothing but confusion. We have gender, um, gender confusion. You know, people identify themselves as different genders. There's no such thing of um, truth no more. You hear people say, well, that's your truth. Well, truth is truth. There's only one truth. One plus one, one plus one is um two. And that don't change. In fact, the word um, truth come to the word, well, the word math, Come from the word, Hebrew word amat, which means um, truth. Because like they got a saying, "Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't." Because one thing that doesn't change is truth, which or even math. Go ahead. It says, "There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, even the righteous acts." toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel 
Then shall the people of the Yahweh Shem Yahushai go down to the gates. Right. So it says they should have rehearsed the righteous acts because we're not going to be delivered based off our works in the law. Because if it was based off the works of the law, we'll, we'll be condemned. Because the reason why we even needed a savior because we could not keep the law perfect. Perf, um, perfect. So now we're being justified by our faith. So when we rehearse the righteous acts, you know, that shows our faith unto the Lord. That's why we say what? Uh, faith without work is what? Dead. Yeah, um, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 6. It says, as a matter of fact, let me read up a little bit. Uh, Galatians 3, verse 4. Have you suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain, he therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, doth he do? Doth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed Yahweh Shai, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore. So uh, Abraham was counted righteous to, to his faith, not by the works of the law. Because, um, you know, um, the law is searching. The, the law of circumcision was a token of what? Abraham's faith. Right. Right. It says, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the Let's children. Back a little bit so it's not too loud. Okay. The microwave. Yeah. Okay. What you mean? Like, keep it far away from my Oh, um, no, not too close. Like, right here is good. Okay. You're good like that, yeah. It says, Know ye therefore that yeah. they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham, and the scripture foreseeing that the mm -hmm. Most High would justify the heathen you know through faith. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Father, the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Reno and says, and the scripture foreseeing that the Most High would justify the heathen through faith preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, And these shall all nations be blessed. So that's the point. All right. And um, all nations is talking about Israelites, you know, because each tribe is considered to be as a nation. It's not talking about the, the heathens, you know, because the Lord only came for Israel. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. John chapter 8, let me, let me pass verse 44. In John chapter 8, verse 44. Read up um, like five verses up. Oh. In John chapter 8, verse 40. But no, you seek to kill me. Okay, that's good. Oh, see what, what 39 say. 39. Oh, verse, yeah, 44. No, yeah, that chapter. But start at 39. Oh. Um, in John chapter 8, verse 39. You hear me? The answer that said unto him, Abraham is your father. There we go, because he just read, you know, um, being children of Abraham. Now, are we physically children of Abraham? Yes. But we also spiritually children of Abraham because you got now the two thirds, even though they're Israelites, they're not spiritually children of Abraham because they like faith. Go ahead. Yeah, after. Um, yet answer him, I said unto him, Abraham is our father. How much I said unto them, if ye will Abraham sure bring the mic a little closer. If ye will Abraham sure in, so if ye, ye were if ye were Abraham children, ye, ye said, um, because who's speaking right here? This is Yahweh Shah. So he's speaking to the Israelites. If ye were Abraham children, go ahead, ye will do the works of Abraham. He will do the works of Abraham. Now, what was the works of Abraham? Abraham had faith, faith, and he showed his, um, his faith by works. Go ahead. Verse, verse, how much I said unto them? I, I mean, verse forty-one, verse forty. Okay. 
but but though you seek to kill me, and a man that had told told you the truth, mm -hmm. which I have agreed, which I had heard of the Most High, this I do not Abraham. This is um, ye but, do the right be, because when Yahusha came and and taught, you know. Uh, Yahweh Shah were rejected, but he was received of of the few a few people, and one of the reasons they wanted to kill Yahweh Shah because um his his righteous works because he Yahweh Shah he did nothing wrong. It's the fact they was offended at at Yahweh Shah teachings. Go ahead. He do the deeds, um, but. You seek to kill me. Wait, read that again. But you he, do the deeds. You do the deeds of your father. You do the deeds of your father. And who's speaking? How was shot? He's talking to the Israelites. You do the deeds of your father. Go ahead. Then said they to him, We be with we then we be not born of fornication. We be not born of fornication. Go ahead. We have our father. Even, even the Most High. We have our Father, even of the Most High, and they said he be not born of fornication, but they spiritually was born of fornication because, like we read um the book of Hosea, the Most High referenced as um worshiping other gods as spiritually adultery, and then when you teach your kids these um different religions or philosophies the most high he likened that as these being children of these different um the different gods you know like i if a, if a, if a child grow, grow up as a muslim that that children of allah oh. that children of buddha that children of cesare borgia so go ahead read that part again it says um yeah what should i say on to them if if the most high were your father, ye would love me. Right, if the most high was your father, you would love him. Because the most high had sent your house shot. But they they despise your house shot. Go ahead. It says, um, for I proceed for to come out from the most high, neither came I out of my own of myself. But I sent but he sent me. But he sent me that he is the most high. Oh. So that shows you what? That the most high and um Yahweh Shah was two different deities. And Yahweh Shah always credited toward the most high and being sent by the most high. That they said, why do the what's our um why do ye not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words. Other words, you cannot understand it. Go ahead. Ye are your father, the devil. Right, ye are the father, the devil. Because uh, we read earlier, they were pretty much saying they they the children of Abraham, and they and, and they and their father is the Most High. But if they were children of Abraham and they believed in the Most High, they will do the works. That the Most High required them to do, but being that they wasn't, Yahweh Shah told them, "That's not your father. Your father is of the devil, because you do the works and the things that Satan would do." Go ahead. Verse. Um, yeah, we are your father, the devil. And who is Yahweh Shah speaking to? He's speaking to Israelites. You know, this wasn't any practice. It was actually, you know, Israelites he was speaking to. He's you he telling them you are your father, the devil. Go ahead. And the works of your father ye shall do. And the works of your father ye shall do. Because it will if if you if you were children of the most high, you will do the works of the most high. You do the works of the devil or Satan because you're children of Satan. You know, you know how was child speaking to Israelites? Go ahead. Yes. Um, and I abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. There is, for he is a liar and the father of the, and the father of it. Mm -hmm. You go in with that. That was the point. 
This is James chapter 2 and verse 17. Even so, faith, if it had not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. I need to break down. Yeah. No, I'm read again. It says, James 2 and 17. Even so, if it had not works, Slug it. Even so, faith, if it had not works, is dead being alone. So, you know, faith is not just saying saying it, you know. It's an action, you know. And you show faith by doing the works, you know. As a brother brung out, you know, we rehearse the righteous acts. You know, we showing the effort to how by Shema Shah that we believe, you know. And that's how we show our faith, our actions. It's, um, it's a package deal. Good. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't, you can't have faith without works because, you know, um, faith, faith is your works because what's all your faith is you being consistent out there teaching mm -hmm. and regardless of what, what you have going on in your personal life and you still go there and teach the word of the most high It being cold outside mm -hmm. or you have to work before you go to, you go to camp, you tie it. And you still go out to camp and teach. That's that's showing your work. That's showing your faith by the works. Because anybody, I hate to quote this guy, Les Brown, but the man is correct. Anybody could say they have faith when everything is going well. You know, your faith is shown when things are not going well. Because if nothing is challenging your faith, you know, um, that's that's that that doesn't show your faith. Now, when things or when challenges come, that shows your faith to, towards the Most High that you are um, you are uh, what's the, uh, grounded. What's that scripture? It says, um, "Be steadfast, immovable." That's first Corinthians. And um, he that endure to the end. You got more on that, or else? That's kind of, uh, I'll read verse eighteen. It says, "Yea, a man say, Thou hast faith." And I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Go on. So you got to show your faith by doing the works, you know, going on the highways and byways, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. All right. So the best of your ability, you know, we just did the Passover. You know, we showed the effort to the, the Lord that we believe, you know, so that's how you show your faith by doing the works. Um, you want that precept? Yeah. And we're not saying that the um the Lord is gonna save us because we understand the Lord is not gonna save us, but we still we 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 still do the things that's pleasing unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can break it down. You can break it down. And bring around this way, so I can. Uh, All right. Um, First Corinthians, chapter fifteen. I uh, um. Verse 57, it said, well, I started at verse 55 because there's a lot of uh, heavy uh, precepts here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 55, it says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Okay, and we know that um, Yahweh Shai, all right, the author and finisher of our faith, he conquered death. Okay, when he came on the scene, all right, he fulfilled the will of the Father. Okay, and through that, you know, the elect, through through the blood of Yahweh Shai, and through his works, you know, we we're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai when he returns to rule in his kingdom. Okay, and and in that kingdom is an immortality kingdom, a kingdom of eternal life, because of the blessings that we're going to have which is the the um the new covenant okay verse 56 it says the sting of death is sin and that's right cuz the scriptures tell you that the wages of sin is death all right and that's how death entered into the world through sin 
okay, which what is sin? Transgression of the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? And right now, we're not under the law, right? This is a grace period because if we was under the law, you know, Technically, we will, we, we, we will all have to be put to death. We'll be condemned. We'll be condemned. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm going to find something. And, 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 and why is that? Because we're in these uncorruptible bodies. That's why we need a savior. That's why Yahweh Shai said, they that behold me are not a physician. Because he came to for the for the sinners, man. Yep. He came for the, 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 the ones that are of the elect that, that are going to acknowledge their offenses, man. All right, and that 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 have faith, that gift of faith, because faith is a gift. All right. Real quick. Oh, you got more on that. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And it says, verse fifty-seven. But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, because Yah the Most High is not dealing with us. When the Most High is not dealing with us directly. All right, Yahweh Shai is our mediator. All right, and and he is our we worship Yahweh Shai. All right, he earned his place, okay, and through Yahweh Shai, that's how we're gonna be saved. Man. All right, verse fifty-eight. It says, "Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast." All right, if you look up the definition of steadfast. It is um to be loyal. All right, to be faithful. Okay. And that's the mindset you got to have, man. Cool. All right? You got to follow the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, whithersoever he go. Okay? Um, It says unmovable. Yeah. Because you're going to, you know, being in this truth, the scriptures tell you, uh, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? You're going to go through things because, you know, the most high, all right, he puts his men through uh, tribulations, man. To, to, to um to purify us, man. And that's how we're gonna enter into the kingdom, man, through much tribulation. Um real quick, you read, you read about the victory. Um I'm gonna just read this real quick. This is um first John and I'm gonna read at first John five and three. For this is the love of the most high that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of the most high overcometh the world this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith because now faith is a commandment now the absence of faith faith the lord sees that as sin verse five who is that i'm sorry who is he that overcome the world but he that believe he that believeth that Yahweh Shah is the son of the most high. So it's about believing in Yahweh Shah. Um, this is he that came by water and blood, even Yahweh Shah, not by water only, but but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that buried witness, because the spirit is truth. That's it on that. Back in um, verse 58, it says. Therefore, my uh, first Corinthians 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. All right, we went into the definition of that. Unmovable, okay. Hey, uh, Yahweh Shai, he talked about the parable how your, your faith got to be built upon the um, upon the stony grounds, man. All right, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, it can't be built upon um, uh, the, the sand because when the rain comes, it's going to wash away. All right. So you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind, man. You got to understand when, when certain things come into your mind, you know, it, those are demons, man. Negative thoughts, all right? You always got to go back to the scriptures, man, okay? And, and, and um, also, you got to, um, you know, stick to, you know, the doctrine, man. Don't, don't be trying to go, you know, into things that, that don't pertain to salvation, things that are irrelevant. Okay, and we got to stay prayed up. It says, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Okay, give diligence to make your call and election sure. All right, because Yahweh Shai said, blessed is he whom, so I roughly paraphrasing, when you, if you find you're doing the work, man, you're going to be blessed. 
you know, and that's the spirit you're supposed to want to be in, man. Okay? And it says, for you know, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And that's right, because the scriptures say what? That um, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love that we have showed towards his name, man. Okay? So, you know, the Most High is going to reward us, man. Lord willing, we ain't doing to the end. Um, this is Galatian 3 and 13. Yahweh Shah have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, what's the curse of the law? Yeah, you had mentioned about uh, Romans 6 and 23, which um, the curse of the law is the penalty for breaking the law, which was the judgment for breaking the law. Because Romans 6 and 23 say what? The wages, the wages of sin is death. Now, what is a wage? A wage is a payment. So the payment for breaking the law is death. So it says here, Galatians 3 and 13, Yahweh Shah, he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So he redeemed us from the payment of breaking the law. Because we can't keep the law 100%. So that's why we need Yahweh Shah. That's why we need a savior. That's why Yahweh Shah is the mediator. Because when we go off, we make an error, um, the Most High is ready to take us out. But Yahweh Shah step in and plead mercy in our case. Through what? Faith. The faith that we have in Yahweh Shah being made a curse for us. How did Yahweh Shah become a curse for us? By going on the cross. For it is written, curse is every one that hangeth on a tree. Now, um... Okay, um, damn, I just lost it. All right, bring that out. You got it. I'm going to see Yahweh Shai, man. It made me think about Isaiah 9 and 6. It says, For unto us a child is born. Unto us, you were going to, right? Right, um, unto us, that's, um, 9 and 6, right? Yeah. So it says, Unto us a, a child is born. And that son is represented towards Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. It says, Unto us. A son is given. Unto us a son is given. Again, referencing to Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Hey, Mike, we're talking this mic. This mic is a little louder. So the um the government is is the kingdom. Because the kingdom is Yahweh Shah kingdom. But the elect is joint is. But Yahweh Shah must first receive his glory. And then we're going to receive glory with Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. I'm going to hold it for you. It says, um, yeah, it says, Slack here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me go back. Slack Down me for a second. Uh, Isaiah 9, verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, his point, Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Right. So it says Wonderful um, Counselor, because that's what Yahweh Shah is. He's the counselor. He counsels our, or he pleads our case with the Most High. Right. You know, that's why. Um, scripture speaks about you know laying up treasures in heaven because what was stored in these treasures in heaven is our mercy, the things we done while being in the truth. If our brothers are tight, you know you do you know you hope the brother out, whatever the case you may do to hope to, to try to you know hope towards the body, you know you try to you know to do things that your house shall like, and that's how you, you grant in your treasures. Um, more treasure, and Yahweh Shah, he 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 pleads our case unto the Lord, to the Most High when we go off, and he, he tell you know he question the Most High, give that brother another chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it said the Prince of Peace, because we know that Yahweh Shah, if he can receive it, was King Solomon in his past life. All right. And we know that during the reign of King Solomon, it was 40 years of peace. All right. And we know that when Yahweh Shai reigns in his kingdom, 
that's going to bring everlasting peace pursuant to Isaiah the second chapter, okay, and we and also peace between the, uh, the children of Israel and the Most High, because right going on the cross, yeah. that's right, because right now the scripture say what the Lord have a controversy with the the children of Israel, man. And when Yahweh when he, when Yahweh Shah returned, Yahweh Shah he, he's returning back to bring peace on the earth. That's why <laughs> he's known as the Kings of Peace, because Yahweh Shah he senses behind peace, because right now the earth is is full with confusion because the law is not being exercised, and when the law is not being exercised, that brings confusion. But Yahweh Shah is coming back to. Um, to bring back the laws of the most well, to to you know judge the world by the by the laws of the most high, you know, because we're gonna go the whole world gonna be governed by the law of the most high. Therefore, you know, bring it peace, because the reason why the world is in the state that it's in is because of sin. Going back to Adam in the book of Genesis, but Yahweh shot he's coming to flip things back to how things supposed to be been from the beginning. Anybody got something? I got something. I bet. So now, let's go to Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahweh Shah. Now, condemnation, the word condemnation means to be sentenced to punishment. And that's the, um, we read in um, Galatians, the third chapter. And which is the curse, which is which the condemnation is punishment for breaking the law. Now it says that there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahusha. So what it means to be in Yahusha means to believe in Yahusha. So if we believe in Yahusha, we're not going to receive condemnation because the Most High is going to have mercy upon us, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahweh Shah had made me free from the law of sin and death. And that's the law of faith. Um, now it says here, for what the law could not do. Now what was it that the law could not do? The law could not bring us um, to perfection. Why is that? Because the law was perfect, but we were unperfected. So the Most High had put has gave us the perfect law in an unperfected body, and it's and it explains right here in that it was weak through the flesh, because the law was perfect. There was no fault in the law. There was default found in us, these flesh. The Most High sent His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And that's where we get the word carnal. The word carnal means of the flesh. Now, a person that's of, of the flesh, that's a person that um that lacks faith. You know, he he lack he lacks faith. Like the account with Thomas. Thomas said for him to believe that Yahweh's child was risen resurrected and was back alive, he had to put, you know, his fingers through Yahweh shot um wounds, you know, and touch his side for him to believe it. So he was a carnal person, meaning he had to see, which is your eyes is comprised of what? Your flesh. And he had to touch with your hands is comprised of what? Your flesh. For make you carnal. What carnal means the flesh. And and carnal also is a person that is um a surface level understand that understands on a surface surface level. Because um, a surface level um, person that listens or uh, look through anything, that's a person that only see the carnal perspective of everything. Whereas we look through the carnal and the spiritual, or we 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 have carnal and, and the spiritual perspective of why things happen. I guess that's This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. 
Yeah. Oh, come. So, you know, faith is, you know, as a hopeful elect, you know, we believe in something we don't see. As the other brother brought out, you know, Thomas, he had to see it to believe it, you know. But as the hopeful elect, you know, we believe without seeing you know, because the spirit bear with our witness, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Wow. You know? Okay. Yeah, um let me see. Hebrews three. Um let's see. Yeah, let's start at verse twelve. Hebrews three, verse twelve. It says, Take heed, brethren. Least there be in take uh Hebrews three and twelve. Take heed, brethren, least there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the, the living power. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, take heed unto what? Take heed unto the truth, man. Take heed unto the spirit of Yahweh Shimi Al Shah, man. Take heed to his his mouthpiece, which is the prophets, man. Okay, you know, um, and it says right here, brethren, that's that's the elect, all right, because that's who this word is for, all right. You gotta you gotta stick to the comforter, man, which is the scriptures, man. All right, we 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 the scriptures tell you, man, that uh, you know, we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, man. All right, you know, this 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 fight is spiritual before it's physical. Okay, this is a spiritual battle. All right, and in this battle, you know, we're gonna go through things, man. Things that are gonna, um, uh, you know, make you frustrated, man. Make you, you know, it's, it's painful, man. You know, but we gotta go through those things because, you know, that's 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 part of that's part of being the truth. All right, because we gotta go through this thing, these things, you know, in order to obtain that glory, man. Because Yahweh Shai went through it. And the scriptures say, the servant is not above his master. But yeah, it says, take heed, brethren, least there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. All right? Let me know that word heart is talking about your mind, man. All right? Because, like I said, them demons, man, them demons are real, man. And they, they put thoughts into your mind. All right? But those thoughts that come into your mind, man, all right, you always got to revert back to the scriptures. And like I said earlier, the the authentic structure of our faith, Yahweh Shai, he's the perfect example. Because um you had when he was in the wilderness, he was being tempted of uh Satan, man. Okay. You know, he was fasting, man. And you know, the the, the devil, um, you know, he, he told him uh, to, to turn stones into bread. And what did Yahweh Shai do? He reverted back to the scriptures. Okay. You know, so you know we got to stay in these scriptures man all right that's why it's called what the um the, the the light man you know it's it's that breath of life okay you know if if you don't speak this word it's, it's, there is no light in you man you start following your own mind there is no light in you man if you don't continue in the things which you learn okay then you know you 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 being wicked you going off okay and that's you know you got to pray to your how about shimmy out shy man to keep them spirits off of you. Okay? You know? Yeah. Matthew 26, verse 41. Matthew 26, verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. It says the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He's like, yeah, man. So we gotta watch. All we got, all we got in this world, man, is prayers, man. We ain't got none there. We got prayers. We got the Most High, His Son, and the Brotherhood. So, um, we got the prayers of the Lord, man. That we enter not into temptation. We being tempted every day, man. When we sit in here, we being tempted. America, Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, man. Everything. Everything you see on TV, your phone, is temptation, man. It says the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. All flesh is weak, man. That's why we that's why we need your house, y'all, man. To deliver us from you. And that's why we're under grace. Calm down. Um, 
if nobody got none, I'll just read this. Now, this is um Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby we have whereby ye have believed. Okay? And we know that that's talking about the elect because salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? It says, by his works, by his faith. That's how you're going to be able to escape. Escape what? Jacob's trouble. Escape what? Um, World War Three. All right? The nuclear destruction. All right? The, the, the MOTB, the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast. Okay? Because why? We're living in times where what? All right? We're gonna live. We're living in times where you need to have, you know, uh, immeasurable faith, man. Okay, the scriptures say, "Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man." And if you call, if you using those names, the scriptures say you gotta depart from iniquity. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta um apply these scriptures, man. Okay, you know, we, you know, you gotta have faith in the Lord, man, because when they when they shut the internet off, okay, when you can't clock in to work. All right, when 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 the doors in the street in the city is is is, is um shut, all right, the only thing you are gonna have is 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 this truth, okay. That's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge, uh, shall be the stability of thy times, all right. And I'm gonna read on. It says, um, and y'all brothers could jump in whenever. It says shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land. And within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Okay, and that goes into the elect. All right, Yahweh Shai said to the to um his disciples, "You were with me from the beginning, man. All right, because everything is predestined, man. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna read on. It says, verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and, and that's the two thirds, man." As the brother read earlier about uh, St. John 8 and 44, you have your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. All right? You know, just look at the state of, of, of Jake in 2022, man. All right? They, they're waxing worse and worse, man. All right? And now you got the truth out there. The truth is out here now. And, and, and Jake, you got a lot of Jake's men. All right? They, they, they coming into the knowledge but they still not in the truth because they're using this truth to um for for uh ill gotten gain, man, for their own personal pleasures, man. And hey man, the Lord kill you for that, man. For monetary purposes, for for uh fame and glory, for yeah, Israelite clout personal pleasures, man. The Lord will kill you for that, man. All right? That's that's you being that's that, that, that's the proper term to call a person a demon, man. That's a real demon right there, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Finish it up. Okay. There's a little. It's a little more. Hey, shut up, Mark. Um, it says, and they. It says, then they shall be a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Y'all abused the ways of the Most High, man. All right. Now you got guys uh battle rapping. All right. You know, got guys um, you know, uh, Israelite battle rap, man. Okay. You know. You know, you guys don't get it, man. Right? It's going. It's you know, it's going to take, man, for the Most High to start dropping bodies, man. Within the truth, guys are supposed to be in the truth. You know. And it says, "Slack them phone." Yeah, it says, and it says, "And they that have cast him away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits." And have not known me going into you know Israelite w wicked Jake man. That's, that's a book. Yeah, I got a few. All right, um, let's get to it. I right, the first I have here is um Romans. I right, Romans fourteen and twenty two. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before the Most High. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that which he alloweth, alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. 
for whosoever, I'm sorry, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So the Lord view the absence of faith of sin. So you're guilty. If you don't have faith, you're just as guilty as an adulterer or a homosexual. Uh -huh. I thought you going to say something. Um, now nah, this is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who is him? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that, diligent, that diligently seek him. So, you have to actually believe that there's a reward for our service on serving the Most High. You know, because when we come to serve the Lord, there's a lot of things we're going to lose, but we know that the Most High is going to reward us. There's a bigger reward. We're going to, we're going to receive um, more than seven folds of the things we lost without number, you know? And... When we go through it, yes, it hurts. It's supposed to hurt. And it's not supposed to feel good. But when we go through pain and adversity, what it does, it humbles us down. And what the Most High is doing is he's peeling away the things he found unacceptable or um, default that's of our character. So he put us through controversy. He put us through hell, humility, and need. Because there's certain things we have to learn before we cross over to the kingdom. You know, because that's why, you know, we have to see both sides. And that's what we're learning. We're learning both sides so we could be judges when we um, get into the kingdom. Um, that's it on that scripture. And I'm a, I got another scripture. Whoever got something after that could bring it out. This is St. John 3 and 17. For the Most High sent not his Son unto this world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And the world, of course, is talking about Israel, but it's going into the elect. But all Israel is going to be delivered, but it's going to begin through the elect. Because the ones that don't make it on this go round, they're going to come back. They're just going to come back, you know, through newborn babies. So eventually they're gonna receive mercy. And they're gonna be the, they're gonna be in the kingdom too, and everlasting peace. But he so it says he that believeth on him is not condemned. The him is Yahweh Shah. So it says he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of the Most High. So the absence of faith and, and the, um, the disbelief of the name of the Lord, you, you're condemned. Anybody got anything? Daniel's chapter 12 and 2. It says, uh, this Daniel's chapter 12 verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting content. And that's going to Israel. So you have even the even the elect, because scriptures say some of us, not all of us will taste of death, but some of the elect will have to die in, in these uh upcoming uh set perils, all right, in a uh, time of Jacob's trouble, in time of uh day of judgment. You know, we might have a, a, a lot of the elect, low will be amongst that number. You might have to die for for the uh, will of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua. But that's there's no greater love than uh, than dying for your brother, okay? Or or dying for for which Yahushua is our brother, you know. But dying for our Lord and Savior as He died for us. But we'll be we'll come back, all right? And it says, and that's going into into the kingdom. Also, it says, uh, awake some to everlasting life and some to, sh to shame and everlasting contempt, which um, is we are Israelites that fell out, Israelites that's uh, online, 
or twisting the gospel, you know, in the kingdom, you're gonna be you're gonna be ashamed for the things you've done, you know, for a period of time. Okay, but after, but you know, after a while, it's gonna be water under a bridge. It's a, it's gonna be like a, as if it never happened, you know. But for a time, you're gonna be, you know, in a shameful situation, you know. You know, which the elect, the elect, the elect will be, the elect will be, you know, the elect will be, you know, judges and and what not, like superstars in the kingdom. But then you have the the, the ones that miss that did not obey the Lord, the, the words of the heavenly Father and the Son, and they're gonna be embarrassed about it in the kingdom. Okay. Um. Let me get uh somebody give me James, James one and six. I guess we could close with that unless anybody got another scripture. This is James chapter one verse six. But let him ask in faith, not. Should I get um start at three, three? two or three, six, or maybe one. Okay. I start two. Start two. James chapter one says, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahushua Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. So now we know who the Gentiles was, the, the Israelite that established settlements in the land of the heathen, and being that they they established settlements in the land of the heathen. The outcome of that was they they pick up on their culture, they, they adopted their apparel, their, their language, their deities, you know, their mannerism. So but now they was being um readopted and relearning about the Lord. So that my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith work in patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh, that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. So the key word, let him ask of faith. Because if a man has anything that he may lack in the spirit, he's supposed to pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and request for the things that will sustain them in the faith. You know, if you feel like you're getting weak or the spirit's not on you as much as it should be or whatever the case may be, that's something you have to pray for. You just don't sit back and just hope things just you know, go back to no, you have to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and toast. Right. Um, let, me, let me speak on that, Mike. So, um, it says, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea that driven with the wind and toast, meaning what? That's, that God is unstable because a ship or a boat that's in um, troubled trouble waters is dangerous because you don't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't um, sell a boat in, you know, crazy waters because you're putting yourself in danger for shipwreck. So a God that's, you know, wavering, that's a God, he's all over the place. He's unstable. One minute he's on this side, next minute he's on that side. You know, one minute he believed that the name of the Lord is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The next thing he believes something different. You know, that's a God that's unstable and he's like, sell, he's back and forth, back and forth, a double minded man. says for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the lord a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways okay I don't know. that was the point of that 
something. Yeah, something. All right, so we can close it out. Kind of, so uh, with that, we uh, pray and hope that this lesson was edifying. Okay, so we we'll close by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. On to the next one, Shalom, Ababa Ball.